Okay, we're placing a, well, we're demonstrating placement of a urinary catheter in a male cat who is sedated, and Kaylee is monitoring him. I have my noble sand diluted chlorhexidine for the wash. I have my sterile water for the rinse, my sterile lube, my syringe to um, get the sample, and my sterile gloves and my five French catheter, which is the smallest we have. <laughs> um, so it's going to go in here. Actually, it's like a little too big. Let me grab one of these, <laughs> which is a lot smaller, if you can see it. No, I'll take it out, but it'll go in like that, and it should reach right better than that big old one. Okay, so now I'll get started. Get my catheter open. And then I'm going to open my sterile lube. My out here to get ready. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'll get my wash nearby, my rinse. And so what I would do is I would put pressure on here to make it come out. like that and then I would rinse it with the wash um, then rinse it with the sterile saline and then I would lube my catheter and then I would go right in there and place that up there so demonstration purposes um, get my syringe Oh, wrong syringe. I had that for the other one. Stick it on there. And then I would get rid of the first five cc's and then get my sample from the rest. Um, the reason we would use, do this is for, um, if there were stones in there, we could um, gently try to place a catheter to dislodge the stones to get a sterile sample for culture. Um, the complications would be trauma um, to the area and introducing infection. And 